This is just a short video to explain that there are two different aggregate supply, aggregate demand models that we use to explain different economic concepts. This, was, this is the traditional one that most people would have seen with a 45 degree line that represented aggregate supply and an upward sloping aggregate demand curve. The reason for the difference between the two models is that on the vertical axis in this model we're looking at expenditure. In this model we replace expenditure with price level and now we have a more traditional supply and demand diagram where we're measuring price versus quantity on the two axes. We lead, it leads to an aggregate supply curve which looks like this and a downward sloping aggregate demand curve. There are videos on this channel that explain both of these diagrams uh, separately looking at aggregate supply and aggregate demand and how they arrive at equilibrium. And throughout the other videos that I show, different, ones, different uh, models will be used at different times to show different things. For example, when we use this model, we're able to sh have a look at the effect of inflation. Uh, we can look at an increase in price level as a result of an increase in aggregate demand. And we cannot show this on this model uh, because it doesn't have price on one of the axes. If you're not sure about either of these two models, there are videos to explain how they look like this and why they look like this. And it's important to understand how they work so that you can understand the concepts at which they show.